Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in this video, we're going to make our first Postman request. So in this series, I'm going to end up using a bunch of different APIs to test different things. But for simplicity, I'm going to be using the JSON placeholder endpoint. Now, this is just a free online REST API that gives us some fake data whenever we need it. It also provides us with a bunch of different types of requests, which will become useful in future videos. Now, another useful site I want to touch on is Any-API, where they list a bunch of different APIs you can use, and I'll be using APIs from here in future videos. But before we move on with anything, I want to state, if, if you're new to APIs, there's no real way to use an API if you don't understand it, and that means you need to read the documentation. So in this case, for JSON Placeholder, I would have went to the guide, and I've looked through the documentation to give me some information about what I can actually do with this. So enough talking, let's jump directly into Postman and do it. This should be nice and easy for you, and we'll break down the request and respond for now. All I want to do is show how you make a basic request. Now, if you're not already on this page, open up Postman, and you can select workplaces, and for now, just select my workspace and we'll click on that. Now what I want to do is I want to create my first request. So I can click this plus button at the top. And here it's telling us what type of request we want to make. We'll keep this as get and we'll cover off some of these in uh, in the future videos in this series. But for now, we're just doing a simple get request. I'm going to go back to the documentation for JSON placeholder and I'm going to take this endpoint, which just goes to posts one. I'm going to paste this URL in here, and I will say I always copy and paste things as the amount of times I've entered things in manually and had errors due to incorrect spelling. just makes your life easier to copy and paste when you know what you want to use. With that, now we've pasted that into URL, and all we have to do is hit send, and we should end up seeing a response is generated. And remember, these are all just fake responses. So hit send on that, and that's give us a response now. So we can see in here, down the bottom, this is our response field. We'll go into more detail. We can see that the state us was 200 which means we had a successful response and it's provided us with some data as well now let's just do it with another api i wasn't planning on doing this but let's do another one we'll uh use board api because I, I actually really like this one if i go here and i just search for board api here is an api that literally just tells us something we can do once again i'm gonna use this endpoint so I've created a new request. It's a get again, and we want to grab an activity. So let's paste that in as well. Let's hit send. Uh, in this case, it's just told us something I can do. So tell you what, after this video, I'm going to take a bubble bath because it's type of relaxation. So that's how easy it is to make your first API request with Postman. In the next video, we're going to break down the requests and responses, and we're going to have a bit more in-depth conversation about what exactly is going on with this. As always, please hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Thank you for watching.